as you can see that uh, our app uh, runs fine, okay. But if we want to remove the uh, ID here, okay, the IDs okay, here, okay, then uh, what can we do, okay? So let me switch back to the uh, uh, software here, okay? And let me expand it, okay? Uh, the first thing okay, uh, we need to do is that uh, in the item list, okay, uh, uh, item uh, underscore, okay, uh, this underscore content file, okay? So this one here, okay? We can uh, comment it out, okay? Comment it out, okay? Get this element, okay? So this text view is used okay, uh, to display the uh, ID, okay? And then, okay, uh, go back to the uh, item, okay, list, okay, activity, okay, uh, Java file, okay? okay? Go back to that file. And then get okay, uh, scroll it to the very button, okay, and look for an inner class, okay, called view holder, okay, and then in the view holder, okay, uh, method, okay, or constructor, okay, uh, comment it out, okay, this statement, okay, and then move it up a little bit, okay, uh, when you see, okay, uh, a method, okay, maybe around uh, 9120, okay, in the same file, okay. And then inside the method, okay, on uh, bind, okay, view folder, okay, then you can comment it out, okay, this uh, statement, okay, to display the, uh, the, uh, the ID, okay, so let me, okay, uh, redone it again, okay. It's loading, okay, and it's okay, rendering, okay, so there you go, okay, so the IDs okay, are gone, okay, so photos, fine, okay, tools, a tool, fine, okay, website, okay, fine, okay, and then if you want to, again, okay, uh, make the um, title here, okay, uh, to be more meaningful, then you can go back to the uh, strings, okay, strings.xml file, and then change the, uh, the app name, okay, maybe to something like uh, uh, okay, school, okay, okay, info, okay, yeah, school, okay, information, okay, yeah, demo, okay, and then let's run it again, okay. All right, okay, I think that uh, that will be all, okay, that will be all, okay, I hope that uh, the videos okay, uh, will be uh, uh, useful to you, okay, have a good day.